Yo, what's going on YouTube? So today I'm going to show you my build Flay Rapture Bleed Setup on Barbarian. It's a new character. I'm using dual wield Ramaladni stack in max resource and with a mace to uh, use Valop. So it's kind of like different setup than most bleed barbs are using. And uh, here this is the number I'm, I was able to do on every single summon, 2.5 billion. And I could be even doing more, but I believe I was missing Edge Master's aspect on rank at this, uh, this point. Because I was changing ring, I forgot to change the aspect, so it could be even higher number. But uh, in general, boss killer build, for me personally, it's the best one out there. I feel like even better than Bash for boss killing. And, you know, some of you may remember me. My main barb has Dust Devil set up, which is in the right upper corner. And I wanted something for a single target because Dust Devil is just not it, right? So, uh, yeah, this is, the, this is the one. Just a little showcase. I'm going to show you the, this, this build or like this boss. Just a quick one. Summoning, I like to open up with two, three flays to activate passives and bonuses, then uh, one rupture to activate attack speed, then more flays, and then finish it off with another rupture to uh, finish the boss off. If she didn't face, she would die. Just one more second, right? She would ble bleed out. But in general, uh, I'm a big fan so far. I like the attack speed on this setup as well. It's really sick. Uh, I always wanted to get that high because, you know, with bleed, you want to have as many stacks as possible. And if you stack attack speed, you know, that's uh, even better, right? So this is just a little uh, Shoka Saruni. I'm going to take you in the game. We're going to talk about some stuff. First things, we got skill tree. So Flay maxed out. I got 13 out of 5. By the way, this build doesn't really have masterworks. Not that many masterworks. So um, a lot of improvements there. So the damage will be much higher. You want battle Flay for even more bleed damage. Uh, next up, we want to get Iron Skin. I'm using the aspect for this, which gives you unstoppable and damage reduction. I'd like to use Fortify. I know most barbs or everyone else uses heal here, but I felt this build is really lacking in Fortify, so that's what I went with. Besides that, you want to stack Imposing Presence as much as possible. We got Martial Vigor for damage reduction from elites, uh, Chunyu Shout with um, HP increase, Warcry here for even more Fortify, but we want to max this out so it gives us the most damage and we have amazing uptime on this, as we have Bolt Chieftain and also Tempering for a Warcry cooldown reduction. Goes well with Booming Voice on both of these shouts. I got some movement speed. You can move this one to something else like aggressive resistance for more DR. That's what I would change for the pit. Next up, Pit Fighter. This is two in one. I love this passive damage and DR. Rapture for the attack speed here, 40%, but it's our uh, big damage chunk. That's two and a half billion. That was the rupture right here. There's an aspect that ties to this skill, so I will talk about it in a second. Next up, we get a cut to the bone. We want to stack this one as much as possible. If you can get amulet with greater graphics on this, top notch. Get it. But it's pretty hard to get. I break mine two times already. Yikes. Steel Grasp to solve the AoE issue that this build doesn't have. Counter Offensive for more damage. We got Attack Speed for Duelist. We got Valop. That's why I'm using One Handed Mace for more damage. And then Max Resource because we're stacking Max Resource. Gushing Wounds, obviously. I'm gonna go over gear now, and then we're gonna take a look at Paragon board. So we got Harlequin Crest. This one is masterwork from a main, a proc cooldown reduction, and resource. Plus four rank to skills is what the, what's the what's the best here. On the chest here, we have Might for more damage reduction, and Congression Imposing Present is something you wanna get on chest and pants. But you can use Rage of Harrogath. I would use Rage of Harrogath for pit pushing for sure, but for bosses, I like to roll with this one. Well, even if for, for bosses, you can really go with Rage of Harrogate because that gives you a great chance. But to solve uh, the armor issue or cap, I just roll with this one. On gloves, we have Inner Comb Aspect. We, we stand still, you know, all the time. So why not? Great chance. Great graphics is the best you can do. You want to stack as much great damage as you can for crushing wounds, but you also want vulnerable. A lot of people are asking what's the split at. What's, the, what's it looking like? But my aim is to get like... Ideally 600 vulnerable, so hopefully with masterwork it could go through. And also I'm missing greater affix on the X for uh, vulnerable. So 600 vulnerable, like 1500, 1600 crit damage would be my aim right now. On the pants, we're using iron skin aspect, I already talked about. Imposing presence, 4 flay, greater affix, all rest and their strength to solve out the resistances. I do have also all resistances on boats. Uh, as you can see, we get war cry and movement speed. The tempering here is not the best, but uh, yeah, I would like to get concussion. I would like to get the concussion twice because I don't have it on gloves. I don't have it on pants. So this steel grab should have been concussion, but it didn't land. It's whatever. And we go with hectic, right? For the cooldown reduction. This is the guarantees or has, has a good uptime for the shouts. 
On the weapons here, we get Moonrise, which is one of the most important aspects for uh, this build, for basic skill build. Uh, great damage tempering is for Brom Rogue, by the way. I do have a video about that as well, which will be in the right upper corner. How to get the crit damage temper, because only Rogue can get that. Slay duration is the second temper you want on weapons. Same story here. Damage while berserking, you want to get that to 300% because of Blood Rage. I'm uh, not there yet, because I would, I would need to temper it first to reach that point. Or roll higher, because this one is still missing like, what, 8%, so, yeah. Ramaladni, this is the uh, amazing one. I bought it for 800 million. Great graphics on damage to close and also max fury. I was pretty lucky with Masterworks without any resets. I just left it there. But obviously, you want three, all, all 12 Masterworks into uh, max fury. Or three Masterworks, excuse me. I'm using uh, Vulnerable Gems to bring it up more for Hemorrhage Paragon Node, uh, legendary one. 200x, this is the aspect I was talking about for Rapture. So Rapture does not remove bleeding from enemies. This can occur every 13 seconds. That's why we want to have it on two-hander because aspects on two-hander are twice as strong, stronger. So that's why I would like to open up with Rapture after two or three flays to trigger attack speed because that Rapture will not consume those stacks from flay built before that. And then I would like to follow up with more flays to stack more bleed and finish it off with a last Rapture that will eat all the bleed there. Yeah. My ring here has uh, giant strides for the leap. That's just, this is not supposed to be here. That's what I had in the video we just saw. You're supposed to get Edge Master's aspect on this ring. I forgot to change it. But yeah, work right, cooler reduction, great chance of greater graphics. You want to have that on rings uh, if possible. Uh, this one is the same. Damage for Berserking. Again, doesn't roll the highest, just like my one hander. You want Bolt Chieftain on this one for cooler reduction. Attacks be vulnerable. I would like to get. Vulnerable as a greater affix on top of that, which would guarantee me to get me like 600% if I had vulnerable here as well. But it is what it is. Uh, here we got cut to the bone. You, again, once again, you want to get imposing presence on every single piece here. So pants, chest, you cannot ha get the headpiece because you get Harlequin. But if you don't have Harlequin, you can just get a imposing presence on the headpiece. And then great damage, one from the rogue again. We got great chance cut to the bone. Now instead of strength, it's kind of personal preference. You could go with cool reduction. I didn't roll it yet. I sticked with uh, strength here because that's damage and some armor. As you can see here, I didn't roll that. Uh, I already had, I, I think I had a pit fighter. I rolled it off though. It's not too bad passive either. Uh, if you're playing two ender, you can go heavy handed, but I'm not using that. So don't need it. And of course we got adaptability aspect here. Second most important aspect for damage increase. So uh, yeah. That was the gear, that was the setup with the technique and Master War, like expertise, you want to use 200x because of the vulnerable, that's what we were trying to stack. And if I'm using one-handed sword and a mace in dual wield, I do get proc this one, if the target is stunned, you deal damage, that's from concussion or steel grasp. And uh, the sword here gives us attack speed, or sorry, fury, if you hit a cc enemy, which is from steel grasp or concussion. And if you kill them while they're stunned, you'll get the attack speed increase. So attack speed all around, good stuff. I love it. Next thing, next up, we got Paragon Board. Everything will be in the description, by the way, in the pinned comment in the planner. So I try to focus on as many max uh, life nodes as possible. First glyph, we have Dexterity Exploit for vulnerable damage. I would love to max it out with Dex here, but uh, it's just to activate it for now. Second board, we have Carnage for attack speed from this passive. That's why I like to flay it up first to get even more uh, to, to trigger this one. But we have ambidextrous to increase or yeah to get the bonus to all magic nodes. So mainly for the damage while berserking here. Uh, I should probably take some DR here for the pit. I would probably do that. Berserker damage on the on the way here. Third board is Warbringer it's for to stack that max fury because of Ramaladne here. And here I'm going Marshall. The reason why I'm going Marshall here is I needed all rest cap and I needed the bonus to magic nodes. That's why I put it here. But ideally you want to swap this glyph for the next board, which is decimator. And here you should have Marshall to buff your magic nodes in here. So I would pick these two and these as well will be buffed. So you want to put Wrath in Warbringer because Warbringer has amazing nodes for dexterity to max out great damage. Right now it's not even maxed out. So on this, on this side, I'm missing a lot of damage still. But I need to masterwork my gear with that has all rest, all, all resistances. That's the only way how can I can reach the cap without the martial leave there. So that's why. 
more max HP notes on the side. At a board, we do we go with Blood Rage. This one is not maxed, but that's the reason why you want to get 300% damage while berserking. Some extra on the side here. Managed to pick them up. This is a bleeding board, so we got damage uh, reduction from bleeding and then uh, damage to bleeding enemies. We go with Iron here for the da damage reduction for berserking, but also wild berserking. Also, very min max board for strength. It's all, all the, on the way, so you save a lot of points. Next up, we do have Hemorrhage. This is why you want to stack Vulnerable, because it double dips with this uh, Legendary node, so that's why it's important. And the last board here is Flaws Technique for Crit Chance, which you also need, because you build for crit damage. So you want to stack Crit Chance as much as possible. 8% here, very easy to stack because of high attack speed. And uh, yeah, on the nodes here, on the way, we get even more attack speed and some damage with one-handers. Overall, I'd say this board is pretty sick for boss killing. Uh, for pit, I might, I might change a board a little bit, but that will probably be for the next build, next setup. But yeah, this one is uh, pretty damn amazing, I would say. For consumables, what I use usually, I like to go with the great chance for damage here. If you don't have these, but you should. Uh, max resource is not too bad either, because once again, I form a lot name. With this bad boy, 214 non potion. With this one, I'm 239. It's pretty good. I will try to hit all tempers on Ramaladni, but it's pretty hard. You could even go max HP if you want. Uh, there is a second potion. I have a video about it as well, which will be uh, once again right in the top corner. It's called Anti Venom Potion. It gives you HP and poison resistance. It's a second potion you can stack with any of these you can see here in the back. So it's two potions. And triple intense. I don't really roll with any right now, but I would probably roll, <clears throat> switch the board, switch the Glyph Marshal with uh, the other one, the Wrath one. So I could use intense for resistances probably. And then Chorus of War, it's just type three intense because you, have a th you, you can have three intense active because there are three types. And um, I believe we covered about everything. Oh, before we go, we have rotation to cover. So which, what, what I like to do, I just like to do a few flays here. I like to buff up, obviously. Go with Rupture to get the attack speed proc, then flay it up even more. As you can see, we are really fast. Get those bleeds up. And once Rupture is off, depending on the boss HP, you're just going to pop it more. And boom, that was over a billion right there. Without any uh, buffs or like, you know, potions, stuff like that. Or Warcry even. So yeah. There you go. That's pretty much the, uh, the, the, the setup. The rotation as well. Uh, thank you guys for watching. I appreciate it. Hopefully this was helpful. And also stream every day on YouTube and on Twitch. The links will be in the pinned comment or more like the uh, the Twitch link. So I uh, would appreciate if you could stop by. Tell me what you think. Tell me how's your grind going. Stuff like that. But yeah, I wish you good luck with the grind. Thank you very much for watching once again. I'm out. Peace.